All right, how's everybody doing today? Good, let me ruin that for you. So I've got some bad news. Most of us here are making a mistake. And that mistake is costing us at least 80% efficiency in our apps. Not exactly what you were expecting to hear, right? Don't worry, I can help you fix that in just five minutes. So let's say we have an app that keeps track of the top scores of everybody's favorite computer game. Now, our task today is simple. We need to assign a rating to the player based off of the number of points that they earned. So what do we do? Well, we write a function that takes in the number of points the player earned and returns their rating. Now, just for fun, let's add a console count inside of this function to tell us how many times this function gets called. All right? Finally, we take our rating function, we put it into our template, and we're ready to go. So we fire up our app, and everything looks fine, but we notice that our function got called 20 times. I guess that's okay if we're showing 10 rows, but if we switch to show the top 100 rows, we see our function gets called 200 more times. Now, let's go ahead and do something to force change detection to run, like clicking on a row to highlight it. When we do that, we see our function is called 400 more times. We do that again, our function is called 200 more times. In total, our function has been called 8 120 times. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that seems a bit excessive, right? So, what's going on? Why is our function getting called so much? Well, whenever, whenever change detection runs, Angular tries to figure out if any of the variables in our template have changed. Now, that check is usually pretty straightforward, except for a function. You see, the only thing about a function that changes is its output. And the only way to know the output of a function is by calling it. So every time Angular wants to know this function's output, it has to call it over and over again. That's why it's getting called so many times. Well, great. So we know the problem, and we know what's causing it. But what can we do to fix it, right? Well, let's go back to our template. And let's take that function, and let's swap it out for a pipe. Now, when we fire up our app, we see our pipe function is called 10 times. If we change to show the top 100 rows, our pipe function is called 90 times. And clicking on the rows does not make it get called any other times. Great, perfect, problem solved, right? Except, why is our pipe getting called so much less than our function? Well, that's because when you use a pipe, Angular will remember the input value and cache the output. So if the input value hasn't changed, Angular will use the cached output value instead of having to call the function again. So now instead of our logic getting called every single time change detection runs, it's only called if that input value changes. That's why our pipe is getting called so much less. Now, there is one caveat to inputs. To Angular, to a pipe, there are two kinds of inputs, primitive values and object references. Now, if either of these input values change, Angular will give us a new output value. However, if a primitive value inside of an object reference changes, Angular will not give us a new output. Now, I guess that was a little bit of a mouthful. So let me give you a quick example. If our input changes from 5,000 points to 205,000 points, Angular will give us a new output. However, if our input is an object that contains points and those points change, Angular will not give us a new output. That's because the object reference didn't change, just the primitive value inside of the object reference changed. So that's why it's a good idea to keep your pipe inputs as primitive as possible. And that's it. <laughs> by simply changing our function to a pipe, we we're able to reduce the number of calls to that function by 88%.
And that's no pipe dream. <laughs> now, Angular is full of things like this that once you really get down and you understand it, it can really make a difference in your apps between reaching your goals and this. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs>